However, there are two sides to this. And one of my favorite sayings in school is, there's only truth in numbers. I'm sure you've heard that before. And I have some numbers here to back up <coughs> the statistics, you know, that, or to back up the feelings that we need to keep Miss Beard, and we really need to add another teacher. Now, <coughs> and just by chance, our middle of the year benchmark, or uh, middle of the year benchmark scores for Dibbles are in. Now, before I give you these scores, I do want to say, and as you know, in, at Marlington Elementary, three out of four students are on free and reduced lunch. Now, a lot of that, uh, this means a lot of the parents who are working hard, they may have, um, you know, some are working ab above and beyond the call of duty, and the some don't have the academic background to help their children at home past a certain point in school. I think that's important to remember. However, <clears throat> that being said, I want to say that in the, at the middle of the year now, and as I said, I've got the scores right here, hot off the press. In kindergarten, we have 45% of the children still at risk and developing. We have, in first grade, there's 42%. In third grade, I'm going to skip to third there's 43% at risk. And in fourth grade, we have 48%. These are big numbers, folks. But you know what grade is succeeding? Guess which grade? Second grade! Because, well, it's only 27%, but it's the least amount of needy children. Because we have three excellent teachers at that level. All of our teachers are excellent, but with it, you know, the numbers, it's <coughs> tell me right here. Yellow, red, green, black, and white. And um, I would urge you to vote against getting rid of any teacher. This reminds me of a game of educational uh, musical chairs. And we're pulling out one of the chairs from these children who are expecting to get a substantial education. And I, I think that we're setting them up for failure as opposed to setting them up you know, for success. And that's our job, right? That is our job. Make these, you know, have every child succeed. So please, please take that into consideration. And as I say, I'll be, I'm happy to share the numbers with you. But did you state your statement again about the teacher going away with the teacher? I hope that you vote against doing away with the teaching position at Arlington Elementary and would vote in favor of adding an additional teacher. We need to keep what we have and even add to it. And as I say, the numbers show the classrooms that are doing the best are the second grade classrooms because of the reduced size. And also, keep in mind, this you have to tie it in with the fact that three out of four of our children qualify for free and reduced lunch and are at some disadvantaged circumstances. That's very important. When you get in that school full of these children every day and um, you know hear them speak and hear their stories, it's heart rendering. So we want to give them all we can. Academic. Thank you. Thank you. Are there any more? While we have you here, um, and I know I ask this question all the time, it'll take me forever to figure it out. But the Title I budget. Now, so did, did that make Marlins Elementary the we're supposed to categorize our schools as to which is the greatest need. Are, is that the school with the greatest need in, in the county? Yes. Mark county. Now, how do we do the Title I budgets? Does that school get, like, you have this many students, so you get this many dollars? We get and then the they, most per pupil. Right. Do they determine their budget, or do 
do you know what I mean? So can they know we get this chunk of money because we're the Title I school, and if we wanted to add another teacher, I mean, do they have yeah. to say so over how? Well, there's not enough money to add additional staff, no. Um, but they get more per pupil, and what you have to do is wait until your total allocation is given to you. And then you have to divide it up among all the school, the four schools that are eligible for Title I funding. And so what we do before we start with anything is take out the, the budget, the money for the budgeting for payroll and fixed costs. And then the remainder of the money, they can use it for parent involvement, professional development, supplies, technology, equipment, pretty much whatever they deem they need. If they need books or um, wh whatever's needed at their school. And so um, then they require us to put some money in each category. And then at the end, like right, like for long about right now, if it's determined you don't think you're going to need it for the remainder of the year, we can change the budget line items, which we have been working on. But this year, we were cut a tremendous amount of money from Title I, and I, I don't know if it was due to receiving stimulus money, mm -hmm. uh, which generally if you get extra money in, in another source, then, an, then one source is reduced. It just seems to be that way. But there just isn't any, there isn't enough money to have the staff that we do and put additional staff there. I mean, we could put um, some part, like um, we could put an interventionist there, like so many hours a week, or we could, until the money ran out, and, but we wouldn't have much money left for supplies. Well, it's, we could not pay for, for a regular teacher with Title no. I. You would have to be Title I, a Title I teacher, a Title I aide, Title I money. Okay. 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 Now, my question is, and I'm not budget savvy, but. Um, my question is, now, we do have two um, assistants. You know, we have a reading and math interventionist. But can't we take that money and put it into a full-time position? Well, that's what we talked about. I mean, you right. guys had come last year, and that was, there wasn't. That's from the stimulus funding. It's not out of your Title I budget. Well, no, but out of our our budget, and that was kind of I thought that was it, no, it's out of it's not out well, of our general budget. It's how the money is out for the extra money. But I think we could be creative in that solution. It's a case of equity too. I mean, I, I mean, I have twenty-two. Got a, a 